Good morning from Europa Park here in Rus, Germany. Charlotte, we're back. It's so nice to be back. Oh, the sun is shining. It's going to be nice and warm later today. And look at that gorgeous blue sky. We've got the fountains behind us at the entrance plaza. Silver Star there in the background. And we're looking forward to filming two vlogs here from Europa Park today. Are you excited? Really looking forward to today. Of course, here at Europa Park, we can use our chest-mounted GoPro to take you along on all of the different rides. There's so many different roller coasters, dark rides, water rides, and so, so much. much going on, but not the water rides. <laughs> oh, honestly, you love it really, especially when the sun's shining. Honestly, we're having a great trip so far. Check out the four other vlogs in the playlist if you've not already seen them. Yesterday, we actually went to Funny World <laughs> just down the road from Europa Park. It was absolutely hilarious. Some of the funniest footage you've ever seen, wasn't Definitely. it? Oh, we had a great time. But yeah, come and join us. Lots to get in today here at Europa Park. Once again, voted in the Golden Ticket Awards for best theme park in the world. Let's go. Oh, it's always nice to see this iconic entrance archway here at the park. And yeah, instead of using the turnstiles here, they're actually using what would be the ticket booths normally, where they check your tickets. There it is, six times winner. I think it's seven now, actually, for the Golden Ticket Awards. Honestly, it's always great to get back here to Europa Park, one of our favorite theme parks in the world. Oh, pumpkins are out. It's not officially Halloween season until next week here at Europa. However, it's such a big job to decorate the park. I think I read somewhere once they decorate with 150,000 pumpkins. So yeah, that's why there's pumpkins out everywhere. Big ones, small ones, all sorts of pumpkins absolutely everywhere. Making for some brilliant photo opportunities. Ed, you're a mouse. There he is. Welcome back, Sean and Charlotte. <laughs> that was a bad impression. We've got some entertainment, though. The parade's on. Yeah, there's quite a lot of shows on, to be honest. Yeah, which is really good. The ice show. Oh, look at all the pumpkins, oh. honestly. Loads of decorations. It's just such a big job here at Europa um, to do all the decorations. But yeah, you know, they have to put them out nice and early. So much going on in the German Alley themed area. Oh, it's just so nice to be back. And yeah, in terms of crowds, I don't think we're going to be waiting long at all. Charlotte was checking the app, wasn't she was yesterday? The app yesterday, and Woden was on five minutes. Yeah, and even a lot of rides like Eurosat, Can Can yeah, Coaster, on one minute. Arthur were really quiet, yeah. which is rare actually. So I think we're going to be in for a quiet one. Part of that though, maybe because of the entry requirements. Yeah, again, you've got to show your vaccination status or a negative test, and again, you need a medical mask. Yes, yeah, so that's the case with all the German uh, parks that we've done this trip. Look at the sweet corn! <laughs> Just to make people aware though, they are accepting the NHS COVID pass on your phone. You haven't got to bring a printed out letter. Yeah, really nice and simple as well. But uh, here we go, along to the park. Where are we going to head first? That's the question. So much to get in here. That's why, of course, we're going to be filming a day two vlog. Park hours, 9am through until 6pm. Oh, good morning, Blue Fire, the original Mac launch coaster. Here we go. So we're starting off the day down here in Iceland. A nice ride on blue fire and I tell you what it looks stunning with that gorgeous blue sky but yeah people get up nice and early here in Germany parks open 9 a.m. we're gonna see some good quality Europa Park operations I'm sure plenty of trains running around even on a quiet day so yeah let's go and have a ride on blue fire mega coaster oh look at it go I do love the big screens in this queue line I love it even better when this cattle pen is not full of people. Let's head around this way. We'll get the chest mounted GoPro on and we'll take you along for the ride. Oh, very disorientating in here. Especially if I tilt the camera side to side. Like, woo! Oh, Charlotte blends in in that top as well. Love it. Oh, where's she gone? Where is she? Here we go then, one minute wait for Blue Fire. Literally straight on this morning. It's gonna be quiet folks here at Europa. Great theme in here, we're actually on the back row. construction work there. Danger. Oh no, what's happening? Woo! What's going on? Here we go. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! 
Oh, it's riding slow this morning. Woo! this morning but that's the case of these coasters take a bit of warming up straight on blue fire mega coaster back row in the sunshine oh it's always good to start the day with a nice ride over on blue fire how was your back row it was okay <laughs> you're not One a massive fan favorite rides here to be honest it is the prototype mac yeah, coaster though the ending version is really good but the whole ride is not yeah. for me. that final version i do yeah, love no, though one of your favourites now though. I love this. Wodan Timber Coaster, a nice GCI wooden coaster. Oh, honestly, it's a spectacular ride this. Look at it with the blue sky today, it's gorgeous. And yeah, I don't think we're going to be waiting too long for Wodan either, Charlotte, to be honest. The beauty is you come straight out the exit to Blue Fire, round here to Wodan, so you're definitely best doing them in that order. 15 minute wait. Oh, I love the queue over this coaster. All the terrain, the light and the crystals. Oh, I love it. So atmospheric. <laughs> oh, I'm really pleased that they've got the full indoor queue line open. I wasn't too sure if they would because of COVID. Great in here, isn't it? That's some funny sound effects coming from behind, Charlotte. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Absolutely love the theming and decor inside here. All built underneath the coaster. Here we go then. Yeah, we waited about 15 minutes and they also added a train to the system, which is really cool actually. They play an announcement. They're like, we're increasing the capacity on this ride to reduce your wait time. Woo! Now this is one of Charlotte's all time favorite coasters. I love this. Well done. You also get a lovely view of the park from up here. Look at this view. Oh, there's Blue Fire, Silver Star, Euromia. Whale Adventures. Whale Adventures. <laughs> Love our Whale Adventures, that's a good mention. It's the location of this park as well. Look at all the scenery. Here we go. Such a huge ride, there's massive lift hill. Love a good wooden structure. Here we go. Woden. So you're in for a tree. It's always so fast. Oh, absolutely fantastic that was. Brilliant. Da, 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 da. Started off our day then over in Iceland with an awesome ride on Blue Fire and a spectacular ride on Woden. Woden was running really well so fast. Brilliant. It was only on row four as well. I bet at the back it was absolutely flying round. Brilliant GCI coaster. 15 minute wait. Can't complain about that. What have we got here then, Charlotte? Oh, there's a goat covered in pumpkins. Honestly, when they say there's 150,000 pumpkins here, they are not joking. Uh, honestly, we'll notice over the next few days, they'll keep putting more and more out every night. Spectacular. Should we go on a dark ride? Yeah. We're going to go on Pirate and Batavia now. And actually, last time we were here, well, last time we were here together yeah. in July 2020, we had a little uh, sneaky behind the scenes tour, didn't we? We did, it was brilliant. Uh, so Charlotte did actually get to ride it I then. I did. Um, but it wasn't finished. There were still programming parts of the ride. It'd be nice to I see it I came back in September last year and had a finished ride on it. Um, but I believe they've done even more programming and got it uh, fine-tuned, should we say. So should we go and have a ride? Yeah, definitely. Let's go and check Bye, it out. Go. Five minute wait. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
So for anybody that doesn't know the history of this ride, unfortunately there was a fire here at Europa Park a few years ago and it completely destroyed the Scandinavia area and this part of Holland and Paris and Batavia. However, the park came back and completely rebuilt it and they built it better than ever before. Here we are in the queue line. I mean, the old queue looked nothing like this. So many details to see. It really is spectacular. Yeah, it was a humongous fire. Real shame for the park. However, they've built back better. No, no, you silly otter. That's for us, for after dinner. No, I need some steel. Here we go, straight on to Pirates and Batavia. <laughs> The Roland Mac animatronic, everybody. footage there from Pyroton in Batavia. How was that for you? That was excellent. To finally see it like fully finished with like all the show lighting on. There's so much to look at. The animatronics look so real. Yeah, the animatronics are spectacular throughout there. Telling the story of course of the fire tiger. I love the build up throughout the queue line and then the storm comes and you drop down into that first scene and you're just blown away um, with what you see there with everything. Phenomenal that is. It really is. The quality of the animatronics, the use of technology in there as well and the built back better with that ride. A great use of screens, projection mapping, and the smells throughout there as well. Did you smell you it? You could smell cinnamon. <laughs> it's a beautiful ride, it really is. It's one of the best dark rides in Europe, 
if not the world now. It's just so relaxing. And it's got that classic dark ride feel. Um, however, it's got a lot of modern technology mixed in there as well. It really is spectacular. But I'll tell you what, Charlotte, it might not be officially Halloween yet. Oh, no. But something looks very spooky over here. Do you, do you want to check it out? Let's check it out. Basically, the teacups here in the Dutch themed area at Halloween, they block all the walls in and they have like spooky music playing, there's lighting, normally smoke effects. I think we'll get another ride, shall Let's we? Go and have a Let's go. go. Halloween started early. So, yeah, Europa Park completely upgrade this attraction for the spooky season. Yeah, it'd normally just be a normal teacups ride. As you can see, they block all the walls in, the queue line, and everything, and it gets very spooky. Yeah, spooky teacups. I won't spin you too fast, don't you worry. <laughs> oh, the lights are going down. It's very spooky. They're quite hard to spin these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, happy Halloween, Charlotte. Happy Halloween, Charlotte. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's just the fact they put all this effort in, they block all the walls in just for the spooky season. They get this Halloween song. Normally have a bit of smoke as well, but I think because we're not officially in Halloween season, smoke's not yet in, but we. Literally, it's 10 past 10 and we've already done four rides. Two coasters, a dark ride and a flat. What a way to start. So hard to spin. I can't get you going fast on this one. Let's try and get it going. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy Halloween, everybody, from Europa Park. Woo! The past couple of days, things have just got really spooky and funny yeah, world in here. Spooky. Love it. Up next, da -da 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 let's go. A big green track, we're getting stared at, at a big green track. Let's go and get on. About a 15 minute wait, and we're off on this max spinning coaster. Woo! Great bit of theme in there. You're out there, mate, astronaut. <laughs> Got a nice rave on the lift hill on this one. Oh, we're getting there up the spiral lift hill, all the way to the top to this German trance music. Oh, I love it. Wouldn't have this ride any other way. If they do ever refurbish it, they best not change the music. Here we go. Oh, it's a gorgeous day. I tell you what, we are doing so well for weather. I tell you what, we're not going to be seeing that satellite for much longer though. That's going to be going soon to make way for the new roller coaster here at Europa Park that we're very much looking forward to seeing in the next few years. Believed to be some form of Mac Big Dipper. So similar to Lost Gravity at Wallaby Holland. That's what we're going to be seeing coming here. A lot of rumors that it might be a dueling coaster as well. Could be interesting, but yeah, somewhere in this location. Woo! How do you even explain this ride to someone like who's never been on it before? Literally you go up a spinning spiral lift hill to German trance music. It's ridiculous, I love it. Great views. Just get some funny interactions with people up here. You see yourself in the glass as well. <laughs> just coasting round the edge. Literally coasting round. Great views though. Woo! And here we go. It actually gets quite intense this coaster. Let's ride. Woo! 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 Spinning, spinning. You get some really awkward interactions like this one, like, hello, yeah, <laughs> love it. <laughs> Here we go, gonna get intense now. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh, 
It's so forceful. And the brakes are pretty sharp on here. A bit of a warning for you. Oh! Brace yourself. Oh! So intense. Project Yoramir, everybody. Charlotte's like, what was that? Oh, we just had an awesome ride there over on Euromia. Absolutely love that coaster. And it's crazy how intense it is when you're coming backwards. It's really intense when you're coming backwards. Not me sick. <laughs> crazy. I tell you what, though, this weather is lush, isn't it? Lovely. Here we are then in the French themed area. Eurosat Can Can coaster over there as well. Not to be confused Leaks. with Spaceship Earth. Leaks. Leaks. I think it's all the pumpkins about. Leaks. Oh, there we go. Oh, there is leaks over there. Yeah, they're actually celebrating Oktoberfest here as well, as with uh, some of the decorations. They've got some big pretzels. You've got these balloons out with pretzels on as well. Sweet corn. Sweet corn down there, pumpkins. But do you want to ride on Silver Star? Yeah. Yeah, let's go down to Silver right Star. On. Right on. Just down in this direction, the park's B&M Hyper Coaster. I do enjoy Silver Star. Right on. Got the nice fountains over here. Blimey, it's a gorgeous part, this. We've got some nice cakes over there. Loads of cakes. The food here as well, there's so much choice, including Food Loop, the original roller coaster restaurant. But yeah, oh, we have been treated with the weather. Look at this. And there's Silver Star. Let's go and uh, get in the queue. We've got Can Can coasters to go on as well. Fantastic Mac indoor coaster. Love it. All themed around the Moulin Rouge. Honestly, the operations here at Europa Park are spectacular. We've only been waiting about five or six minutes. The queue moves so quick and straight up the steps and we're going to be on. This ride is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz and as you can see, you get to see some awesome cars here in the queue line, including that awesome F1 car over there. We'll see you on Silver Star. Here we go then, climbing up the lift hill on Silver Star. Whoa. Are you ready, Charlotte? I love this. Woo. It's a great B&M coaster, this one. You get some awesome views. And we are right near the French border here at Europa Park. As much as the park is located in Germany, it's so close to France, you can actually see France from up here on Silver Star over in the distance. <laughs> Car park down there. Not very busy. You might be thinking, blimey, that's a lot of cars. Honestly, with Europa Park, that is not busy at all. Compared to how busy this park can get. But here we go, towards the back. Second row from the rear. On the car park coaster itself. Silver Star, let's go. Trim's done. Here we go, best airtime on the rides coming up right about now. Brilliant. Yeah, enjoy that. I love that ride. Silver Star, car park coaster. Oh, an awesome ride there on Silver Star. Honestly, them last three hills on there are crazy. I love that. You get so much air time. It's ridiculous. You do feel the trim break on there though, but them last three hills make up for it. Oh, you love it, don't you? I love it. You prefer it than old Shammy B, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right then, we're making our way down here now. Onto the box, indoor coaster, absolutely love this. Eurosat Can Can Coaster. Used to be known just as Eurosat. But they did a big refurb of it, and I'll tell you what, the queue line for this is gorgeous. Yeah, Charlotte's never actually been in the main queue for this. Um, just to see all the details, a big part of the experience. Absolutely love it around in here. You get some nice little throwbacks to the old Eurosat Franz Mac just in there as well. Oh yeah, great themed queue line this one. 
Really nice details here in the main queue. Love them old school lampshades. You know when you used to go around your nan's house for like Sunday dinner and she used to have them lampshades, them old school ones. She probably still does. That's what it reminds me of in here. So many nice paintings as well. Lots of details. Love the can can artwork. We'll see you on the ride. footage there from Eurosat Can Can Coaster. Like I say, it is all indoors, so you don't really see a lot in the POV. It's a great ride. Yeah, I really like like indoor dark coasters and there's quite a bit going on. It's really good. I'd love to see more indoor coasters back in the UK. We need more of yeah, them. Yeah, 100%. Hardly any, isn't it? Love a good indoor coaster. Anyway, we're going to get some lunch now for one of my favourite outlets here in the English themed area. The Three Piglets. Fish and chips, I think. Fish nuggets. Love them. <laughs> Charlotte's just getting hers, so I thought I'd show you mine. Gone for fish and chips, six euros 30. They're actually fish nuggets that you get from here and they're absolutely delicious. And you get them in the little newspaper cone as well. Ah, oh, love them. Well, this is what really makes Europa Park. There's always something going on. Oh, hello. Hi, oh, he's got some bubbles. Oh, brushing his hair. Look at that hairdo. I thought my hair was quite long. Look at that. <laughs> just here having my lunch at the Three Piglets. And that comes along, lovely. Such a nice day today. Look at that sky. Oh, well, that food was absolutely delicious. I love seeing a bit of street theatre there. Over onto an absolutely awesome Mac powered coaster now. Love these powered suspended coasters. Arthur in the Minimoy's Kingdom. And you know it's a quiet day at Europa Park when there's only a 15 minute wait. However, you can actually reduce that wait even more, can't you, Charlotte? It's like a virtual line. So we was down by Fish Nuggets, <laughs> got the virtual line and we can go straight on. Yeah, just on the app. So yeah. it's like a free fast track service Which that they do on good. some rides. So yeah, it's decent really. I mean, at least it's not a paid fast track. I am hoping they never go down that route um, here at Europa Park. But yeah, it's a nice little thing. What they do it's a free service uh, that you can enjoy absolutely love arthur a brilliant ride nice combination between roller coaster and dark ride so let's take you on here we go on arthur straight on the soundtrack on this onboard audio beautiful ride
fancy getting stung by that one. Such a beautiful family attraction. <laughs> It's such a spectacular ride, isn't it's it? It's brilliant. The ride system is so good. Just combines a dark ride and a roller coaster all in one. It really is a spectacular attraction. I'd love to see more parks using it. Um, over at Universal, though, in Beijing, and um, it's just opened, they've actually got one of those, and I'd love to ride. It looks amazing. I've not seen it. All themed around Jurassic Park. Like, I'd love to do it at some point in the future. Well, I say Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Honestly, I'd love to do that. Um, yeah, it's lovely here in the Minimoy's Kingdom. You know, I've just got the absolutely awesome Arthur. We gave it a little shout out just when we was on there. Poppy Towers. I love Poppy Towers. Oh, I don't normally come on. I normally like Charlotte ride, but you know what? I'm coming on with her. You can see it in action there behind us. Let's ride Poppy Towers. How about this then for German efficiency, or should it be Europa Park efficiency? They were just running the one tower because there was no queue, and there was quite a large amount of people came down the queue line, so the operator just loaded up the other one. So they're both running now. I like, love that. How efficient it's to stop the queue building up too much. Great views over the Minimoys Kingdom. It's amazing in there. Hey! <laughs> love it in there. I've not been on here for a while, I don't think. Look at the views of Arthur. Oh, they me on. Oh, no. Well, I was coming on, honestly. After all these lockdowns that we've been to, any opportunity to get on a ride, I'll be straight on. Even the ventilation's themed in here. So that we're in someone's garden. There's the fence. Woo! Here on Poppy Towers. All the flowers in here. It is a lovely area. So quiet. It is really quiet. We said, look, Woden's only advertised 10 minutes now. Definitely get the Europa Park app if you come in here. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> it's not got as much force as the Tickle Tower, though. Oh, definitely. And Fantasia Land. Yeah, something that really makes Arthur as well is all the lights that are underneath it as well. Full onboard audio, vibrating seats. Yeah, you got a little cafe in here and also the Mool Mool Carousel down there as well. So many rides here for the kids. Love it. 
So we just had an awesome ride over on Poppy Towers. We love them, don't Poppy we? Poppy Towers are so good, but they're not as good as Tickle Towers. Tickle Towers of Fantasia Land is the one. However, if you come into these parts, don't miss out on the smaller little drop Give towers. Definitely worth it. After that, we've just actually been to watch the Europa Park Ice Show, the same show as last year in a really nice venue. And they've got some great shows here at the park and they're a really nice way of breaking up the day, especially when you get so many rides done. It's nice just to have a sit down and relax, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, now, the show the same as last year, Surprise with the Fire Tiger. It's all based around the story of Pirateton and Batavia. Some lovely costumes in that show um, and a good storyline. However, um, as an international visitor, you do struggle to understand it a little bit. I preferred God to Greece when that was on. That was a better ride show, but it was still good. Costumes were good and there was some good skating in yeah, there. Yeah, the skating quality is brilliant not in that. Uh, really good skating quality. I just think, you know, the, the storyline's a little bit harder to follow. Some of the music as well, very slow. With an ice show, it's nice to have something a bit faster. Yeah. Um, but definitely worth watching if you're coming here to the park. Um, you can't film the indoor shows here at Europa Park, but we can film the parade and we'll definitely be watching that. Yes. Possibly later today, if not in the day two vlog. Dancing. Anyway, are you ready for a water ride? Go on. <laughs> a water coaster, Poseidon. I tell you what, I absolutely love this view here in the Greek themed area. We got Bert the Seagull just over there. <laughs> it always looks lovely around here. The whole park's stunning, but this area in particular, I love it on a nice sunny day like this. Fun fact for you, every winter, they actually repaint all the floor down here. So it looks great and nice and fresh. Honestly, it's a fantastic ride. This normally gets very busy. However, can't see any queue for it over there at the top. So I don't think we're gonna be waiting too long for Poseidon, Mack Water Coaster. They've actually got two water coasters here at Europa Park. You've also got Atlantica Super Splash. Oh, over in the Portuguese themed area. Here we go then on Poseidon. Less than a five minute wait. And like I say, it normally gets very busy, this attraction. And we all sat down here on the front oh. row. Are you right there, Charlotte? What are you doing? I'm not discussing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lovely warm afternoon now. About 21 degrees Celsius. Perfect for a water ride. You got some good bits of theming over here. Say hello to our friend over there. Are you right there, mate? Nice animatronic off to the side. Look at his eyes. He's got it. <laughs> so spooky. Love this ride. It always looks so fresh, nice and clean. There we go. You got some awesome views across Europa Park. Euro Tower just over there. Matterhorn Blitz. Honestly, there's so many rides, even two day vlogs from this park. Doesn't cover everything. So much here. Get yourselves out to Europa Park. One of the best parks in the world. So much variety and that's what really makes it. Cracking views of Silver Star there. The airtime machine. It's a lovely day. What is going on? And here we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this section of track is getting quite rough down here now. Here we go. Woo! Here we go, Charlotte, you ready for a splash? No. This is it, Poseidon. Now. It's coming in. Oh, you see, you don't even get that wet. Look at my trousers. Literally, it's only a light sprinkle. Yeah, that's the thing with these water coasters here. You don't get too wet at all. Just, it was quite rough coming down there. Look how clean the water is. Oh, it's so nice. Like you say, they paint it every year. So beautiful out here. Really nice station building there as well. All the Greek building style. Just looks pristine. Every single year you come out here and come and see it. Beautiful. Round towards the next lift hill now. Lift number two. Ready for the big drop for a bit of a bigger splash. Look at the track profile of the drop just there. You really notice it when you come up the lift hill. <laughs> Crazy. There we go. Down that one, guys. Great views of the Can Can coaster, or at least a show building for it. How are you feeling, Charlotte? Not good, to be honest. It's all right. You got a bit of a delay spacing the uh, the boats out just there. 
There we go. I love the view of the Silver Star. I wish I was on that. <laughs> you actually get some air time well, coming down the drop on this. Oh no. We've got plenty more war rides coming up over the next couple of days. Fuel rafting. Oh god, not fuel Atlantic a tyrol log flume. Oh no, oh, yeah. oh here we go. Poseidon, ready for the airtime. Woo! How are you? I'm not discussing this! <laughs> Brilliant, is that your light sprinkle? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Love this area of the park. And how are we over here, Charlotte, after your ride? Oh, to, so to be honest, I think you got uh, wetter than I did on there, on that side of the boat. Awesome. Maybe I secretly knew you got wetter on that side. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, no, fantastic ride. Really nice family coaster. I'd love to see one of these back in the UK. I think it'd be a great addition to maybe Alton Towers, especially as there's no log flume anymore. Oh, having a lovely first day here at Europa Park. Honestly, the weather this trip is really treating us. And there's so many pumpkins absolutely everywhere. Big pumpkins, small pumpkins. And what I really like with the Halloween decorations here is that they also put like these little flower pots in as well. You've got like a little basket there. Honestly, they do a great job with all the little details. Anyway, we're going on one of Charlotte's favourites and I love this ride oh, too. This is a good ride. Here we go. We still don't know how to pronounce it Madame officially. Fraun. Madame Fraunrecht, something like that, I don't know. But she looks after dinosaurs. And honestly, this is a really nice dark ride. It's actually built underneath the Can Can coaster. This thing's lovely. So yeah, we're gonna uh, head on now. The entrance is just here on the left. So I'll pop my mask on, we'll head inside. Of course, masks don't need to be worn walking around the park, just in queue lines, indoors, and also on attractions. And here she is, the one and only Madame Frauden. Right, how you doing? You all right? Hello? Nothing. Right, let's go on. There's so many lovely details. The soundtrack, all the animatronics, it's so quirky. Really different to anything else out there. Birthday party! Woo! Oh, there you are. You finally woke up. Oh, you got some nice cakes for me and Charlotte. Lovely. What's that? They're being served just outside for us. Brilliant. Lovely. Oh, she wasn't joking when she said she got cakes waiting for us outside. She's good, isn't she? Here we go. What we got there? Sasha cake. Sasha cake. Oh, here we go. Just over three euros for these. Really nice. Honestly, I love it here in the French themed area. We're actually sat on a double decker boat. So very nice. Have a nice relax just here. Enjoying the ambiance of the area. Honestly, I love this park. It's so nice to just sit back, relax, chill out and have a nice cake. Lovely. Here we are then in the Italian themed area. Oh, it was lovely that cake. Really nice. Some lovely food options here at Europa Park. Lots of choice. There's still a couple of bits that are closed at the moment, food-wise, because of social distancing measures. However, our favourites tend to be open here at the park. And I've also found out they do spring rolls at the park. Spring top. rolls! We're actually in the Bambo Bai restaurant over at uh, Pirateton and Batavia. So, yeah, Charlotte's probably going to eat something in there at some point. This trip, this is lovely round here. Yeah, it's all just so fresh and painted up. And what have we got over here, Charlotte? Geisloch. <laughs> ghost Castle, it translates to in English. Here we go. This is the park's ghost train. Really nice dark ride, this. Very enjoyable. So let's go and have a ride. I think that bit is there something? <laughs> 
Station. Still not using the stretching room at the moment because of social distancing. There we go, it's gonna have a ride. Love the big chandelier spinning above us. Got our little friend down there, the skeleton. This ride's also got an absolutely beautiful soundtrack. Um, sounds like Big Ben. Funny and random effects on this. I love it. Such a great it. ride. It was so good. There's loads of little details on there as well. And they're always making changes even for the Halloween season on really there. Really liked it. There was a little skeleton with like a pumpkin going around the track. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, what are we going on next, Charlotte? Ciao, ciao, <laughs> Italia. Well, the official name, Piccolo Mondo. We see another little dark ride here in the Italian themed area. There's so many little quirky rides at this park. I like this one. It's good. Oh, but yeah, we're getting loads on. Literally walking from ride to ride today. It's so quiet, isn't it? It's so sad to see it so quiet, but I think there's so much to go into visiting, like testing and back status I think it's putting people off yeah there's certainly a lot more planning that has to uh, be involved in it all isn't me but uh, still it's meaning we're getting loads of rides done let's go on another little dark ride here we go such a cute little ride this oh I love it such a brilliant mix of roller coasters dark rides boat rides water rides nice bit of dancing there let's go on honestly so efficient we're just walking straight on to stuff crazy the whole ride, huh? I think so too. The rest of the ride system just seems parked up at the bottom. Hey, ciao, ciao, it's Alia. Look at all the ice creams. Oh, so tasty. Oh, delicious. Ciao, ciao, Italia. Ciao, ciao, Italia. Such a lovely little ride. And some of these rides are really hidden away as well. Like you wouldn't know that they were here, some of them. Oh, so romantic. There we 
we go to the big finale scene. Loads of lollies, cakes, and ice cream. Lovely little ride. It's about a minute and a half dark ride. Literally, we have the whole thing to ourselves there. The rest of the cars are all parked up. Crazy. So we've made our way back down towards the entrance of Europa Park to come and experience Volatarium. This is the park's flying theatre attraction. It's got an absolutely spectacular queue line. The video itself on the flying theatre, I've got to admit, isn't one of my favourites. However, the soundtrack's really nice, the queue line's great, and this little area, what they created off the side of the main entrance, is gorgeous, it really is. Yeah, we'll go and have a ride. Wait time advertised at 15 minutes of Volatarium. Not too bad at all. Well, mate, you got this guy flying about in the queue line. Like I say, the ride itself is okay, but the queue line is really where it's at. Oh, look at this. Absolutely spectacular queue line. So many details inside to see. It really is wonderful. Of course, this attraction is part of the Adventurous Club of Europe. You can see the logo for that just up on the top there. Bit of a storyline they've got going on between some of the newer installations here at Europa Park. Yeah, flying through is an attraction. I won't take you on this one because, yeah, we're literally just watching a screen. But, yeah, we're going on. Looking forward to it. You know, it's basically soaring over Europe. <laughs> Eiffel Tower. Well, it's kind of, but Soarin' is the one with the proper Wonky oh. Eiffel Tower at the Disney parks, you know. I can't but, remember this one. But, uh, yeah, you've got a nice product placement for Euro Wings in the middle of this one. The plane Lovely. just flies in. <laughs> Here we go, we're going to have a ride. We'll see you when we come off the flying theatre. It's Mary, everybody! Hey. So we've just come off Volatarium, the park's flying theatre. And yeah, don't get me wrong, the music's nice on there, the smells are good. Um, but I just think the video content isn't the best on there, in my opinion. Still enjoy it, though. What do you think, Charlotte? I actually really like it, but I prefer when you're in the middle, because when you sat at the top, all you can see is, like, the ceiling. Yeah, like, you're much better off in the middle floor on that, or the bottom I floor, like really. Uh, yeah, it's still a nice addition here at the park. I just think there's more enjoyable attractions. But don't get me wrong, a lot of people love soaring at the Disney parks. If you enjoy that, you're going to enjoy Volatarium. What do you think, Mary? Yes, Sean! I absolutely love it! That was bad, wasn't it? Do you think I could be a ventriloquist, Charlotte? What do you think? I don't know. Is that any good? Let me see. Let me show you, hang on. Yes, Sean! I absolutely love it! Really it good. It was brilliant! Oh, it's just when you do a B or a P when I struggle, like... It's brilliant! Oh. Brilliant! I can't do it other than that. brilliant! Yeah. There you go, we're having a lovely time here at Europa Park. Let's go and get on some more rides in the sunshine this afternoon. I tell you what, I think this hoodie's going to have to come off now. It's know, really it's quite warm. warm. There's no wonder that we keep coming back to this park and the fact they keep winning so many awards for Best Park. It's absolutely gorgeous, it really is. And even better during the Halloween season where you get pumpkins absolutely everywhere. And here he is, the man who started it all with his son Roland. Franz Mack, everybody, with his statue here in the park. Of course, we've got the little plaque down here as well. Founded Europa Park with Roland in 1975. Franz Mack, 1921 to 2010. Well, Europa Park is also home to some awesome transport rides, such as the Panorama Barn, the train that takes you all the way around Europa Park with lots of different stations. And you've got to think, with this being such a huge park, you need plenty of transport. You've also got two monorails here as well, a small monorail and also the EP Express. We'll take you on those in the day two vlog. So many rides here. Like I say, you can film like four days worth of vlogs here and still find different rides to go on. Old time of fart just over there. Stop laughing, come on, be serious. We're a serious channel, aren't we, Charlotte? <laughs> Not. <laughs> there we go, nice little uh, animatronic show. Yeah, so much of this park. In the day two vlog, we'll be getting our loads more different rides. So we've got some other coasters to go on. Here, we're making our way up towards the Europa Park Parade to our favourite viewing spot, which is just outside Food Loop. Then we'll go and watch the parade from there. Yeah, so we've got loads more to get on tomorrow. We'll have time for a couple more rides after the parade as well. Before we wrap up our day one vlog here from Europa Park. Yeah, I'll put in a bit more footage to make our way around here on the Panorama Barn.
Station Arrêt, Station Arrêt. Next Station, More awesome Halloween theming out just here. They're doing an awesome job when it comes to theming for the spooky season. Love it. Just heading through the Spanish themed area now. Got the Spanish station just here. Love all the buildings around here, all the white and yellow decor. Such a nippy little train, takes you all down little passages throughout the park. And even down here you got all the nice flowers at the side. Yeah, the landscape in here, beautiful. Got the horse stunt show just over there as well, possibly check that out whilst we're down here. And another ride will be going on tomorrow just over there, the log flume. <laughs> the Tira log flume. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Might try and get a ride on Atlantica Super Splash after the parade, possibly. Well, just no, down here. Well. What's up with you, Charlotte? Not another splash. Well, I'm just thinking spread the water rides out. We do another one today. Then we got two more tomorrow. We do the rapids and the log flume tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> there is great baby ride here. Love it. Love a good ride round on the Panorama Bomb for some awesome views across Europa Park. Right then, we're watching the parade, aren't we now? Put your hands up. Oh, I love a good clap and sing along with the parade here at Europa. Nice to see the parade for a while, haven't we? No, it'd be nice to see one. Yeah, they're not really running at most of the park. So yeah, it'd be nice to see that here at Europa Park. They're still running Ed's Party Parade at the moment. However, maybe next year they'll launch the brand new parade. Uh, it was originally supposed to launch last year. Uh, that's the Adventure Parade. But because of COVID, it has been pushed back. Are you ready for a party? Yeah. Let's go. Here we go, here comes Ed's Party Parade! I love the costumes! A funny stilts just there, hello! <laughs> Gotta watch yourself on the monorail track there! All the different flags there, United Kingdom, Whee! that's it, give it a wave! Lovely! <laughs> Great costumes! Whee! Big chicken, we love the chicken. Uh -huh. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Doing a good fist bump there, I love it. <laughs> and there they are, watch your head there, Ed. Watch your head, you might have to duck down, mate, or you're alright. Hey! Uh, <laughs> Woo! Ed and Ed are your mouse. Love how they have to duck under the monorail. <laughs> Woo! Brilliant! <laughs> celebrate! We're gonna celebrate! Nice uh, Mac Media cinema section. Arthur! Yeah, literally, they must have designed the flows just to fit under the track. Woo! Arthur floats. Woo! Oh, I love these costumes, really nice. Woo! Bolo da Vinci! Very steampunk style. Have a nice little uh, bounce around. Woo! Whee! And here we've got the Pirate and Batavia floats. Designed perfectly to just fit under the monorail, I love it. Woo! In non-COVID times, worth pointing out, they normally do a show stop here as well. They're obviously not doing it at the moment, but they normally do a big show stop at this point where they all do a big dance. And here comes Broccoli! Woo! 
Watch your heads. Hey! Great flow, all the cogs on there. And there we go, that's Heads Party Parade. It's not the longest of parades without the show stop, but you know, it's COVID times, isn't it? I can't remember if it was the show stop or not last year, can you? I can't no, I can't remember, but nice to see the parade though. Lovely. Yeah, I love seeing broccoli, don't you? That's Lovely. it. That's it, all going in. I love how we got the uh, jump scare as well with the confetti cannons. Brilliant, really nice parade. Right, we've got just over an hour left of the day here at Europa Park in our day one vlog. Always nice to see some entertainers at the parks though. There's pumpkins absolutely everywhere. I love it, it's so spooky, getting me in that Halloween mood. And as soon as we get back, of course, from this trip, we're gonna be into Scarefest, Fright Nights, and so much more. Having a lovely first day though here. Honestly, it's been great. And Charlotte now is gonna control the water fountain. Just off in the fountain. Here we go, we was operating rides yesterday. Um, you can't operate your own rides here at this park, not like Funny World, but you can operate the fountains. Here we are then, so you've got all the different fountains just over there. Charlotte's on the op panel. The here we go, what we got just on here. See, I literally press all these buttons. There we go. Oh, that's the big one over at the back there. You got this one spinning round. You have your own little fountain show, just for the finale just here. Who are coming along on the raft ride. There's actually going to be some changes made to the raft ride over this winter period. So look forward to seeing what they do in terms of upgrades around here at this part of Europa Park. Oh, I love how you're operating the fountains because you know what? We're going on a water ride now, water coaster, oh. Atlantica Super Splash. <laughs> you nearly oh, fell off the step boy. then, didn't you? Here we go, let's go to Atlantica. Here we are then down in the Portuguese themed area. Beautiful day for another water ride. And here it is, Atlantica Super Splash, another Mac ride here at this park. Not every ride is Mac here at Europa Park, however, a lot of them are. We've got such a fantastic variety of rides though at this park. It's so nice to come somewhere and not just be coaster, coaster, coaster. You've got a nice mix between water rides, roller coasters, dark rides, flats, shows. And that's why so many people love this park, to be honest, the variety that you've got here. In a way, you don't feel in a rush to get round here. Yes, we've done a lot today, but you can just take it really easy. We're not really rushed round. We've just kind of took it in our stride, haven't we? It's been lovely. And that's what really makes this park. You know, you don't have to rush round. You can just soak up the atmosphere and uh, take it all in. Right, let's go on. Here we go then, literally straight on. Air gates open. And we're on the ride, no wait at all. Loving how quiet it is for getting on the rides here at Europa Park. Brilliant. Nice view across the hotel resort there. We're not actually staying on site this time here at Europa Park. However, we did last year. It's gorgeous. I've actually stayed in all the hotels here, including Kronosar. You can see that over there in the distance and Rulantica. We are going to be visiting Rulantica though for Charlotte's first trip there, the big water park here at Europa. So we're looking forward to that. Rest my back. <laughs> Have a nice chill out. We're also going to be uh, going in the new spa that they've got up at Rulantica as well. Yeah, I can't wait for that. The wellness spa. Yeah, it's a great ride there. So we get a nice little spin at the top just here to appreciate all of the lovely views. Woo! Hotel Coliseo, Bell Rock. A nice view across the park. Look at that. Oh, this place is gorgeous. It's another one where they paint the trough every year. Here we go. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Backwards drop. Charlotte, how are we over here? I'm a bit nervous to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm it down there. It's nice and clean though, isn't it? Oh, it is. That's the thing. All water's filtered on all the water rides here. Tomorrow we've got the log flume and fuel rafting coming up. Them two are wetter than the water coasters. <laughs> so stay tuned for that in the day two vlog. Lovely little Foden. All the mountains over there too. Oh, what a location. And here we go. Oh, hey! time! Woo! Oh. Oh. oh, lovely. Literally, a couple of little dots and that is all. Charlotte's safe, are you okay? Lovely. That hood did not need to go up. I know it did. You got a massive fish just above you there though. There he is, massive oh, fish. Lovely. lovely, what a great ride. One of our last rides of the day. <laughs> Loving a ride on Atlantica Super Splash, especially when the sun is shining like it is today. Well, we're coming to the final part of our day then. Now we're going to do a couple of re-rides, I think. So we're going to head on Woden, maybe get Blue Fire in again as well down here. 
in Iceland. And then we'll make our way down to the entrance of the park, the German Alley, and wrap up today's vlog. What a fantastic day. Oh, just a couple of re-rides then over in Iceland. And we've got a bit of a fire going on over here. Oh no, you're right there, mate. You Maybe spilt your whiskey. whiskey. Oh, that's the story of this. Got a bottle of whiskey there. He spills it and then you get this fire effect just over here. It's these little bits that really make Europa Park. And there's no other park in the world that's got as much fire as this place. I thought that was a real fish. <laughs> Not a real fish, don't I worry. Pack it in, drinking that whiskey. Oh, you tell him, Charlotte. Look what you've done. You've caused a big fire. You've caused a fire. Pack it in. <laughs> oh, he's sitting down now. Sit down. Sit down, Mr. Whiskey. Oh, brilliant. What an absolutely awesome day back here at Europa Park. It really has been wonderful to get back to what is one of our favorite theme parks anywhere in the world. We love it, it's brilliant here. The Disney parks, Europa Park, and Tokyo Disney Sea. Well, that's the Disney park, but you know what I mean. Uh, they're all my favorites, honestly. And this has got so much charm to it as well. Really is a brilliant park. And we've still got so much to do tomorrow, haven't we? Yes. Loads of roller coasters, water rides, some more dark rides to do. Yep. Honestly, more coming up in the day two vlog. Ending our day here at Europa Park then with a nice meal over in the French themed area. What you got there, Charlotte? Oh, lasagna. Lasagna. So this was nine euros ninety for lasagna just there. Looks yeah, nice, that does. Really nice. You enjoying that? Oh lovely. Yeah, it looks like proper homemade that looks like they make it all here. That's the thing with Europa Park, they like to do stuff in-house, but just thought I'd show you that. You're right there, doing a little Why? dance, fly. Yeah, just do that. thought I'd show you that just so you can see some more of the food options. I had a nice fish and chips earlier. And Charlotte's got a nice lasagna down here in the French themed area. Beautiful. Back down here then now in the German alley. Oh, I love all the buildings here. All the lights on as well. Ending our day here at Europa Park. We've got the princesses out just over there. She's got an umbrella. It's not raining. What's going on? <laughs> no, I think she's protecting herself from the sun. Edgar. Oh, there we go. Edda. Edda. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was going to bite me then. Here we go. Was your meal nice? Oh, I'm stuffed. Nice lasagna in my belly. That was lovely. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Never been in there before, actually. Really nice. Like self-service. Choose what you want. It was nice. Yeah, very good. Not too bad pricing either there. Here we go. Back down here at the entrance to the park. And we'll wrap up our day one vlog here from Europa Park. Well, we've had an absolutely amazing first day back here at Europa Park in Germany. And you know what's quite cool down here at the entrance? We've got some of the old trains from Eurosat before it got transformed into the Can Can Coaster. What a nice little photo opportunity. So we thought, what a place to wrap up the vlog. But honestly, it's been so nice to get back this absolutely awesome park. One of my favorite parks out there. Have you enjoyed your day? It's been lovely. We've got so many rides in, haven't we, today? No, we've done loads. I forgot what we've done. We've, honestly, we started off this morning with a great ride on Blue Fire, but Woden was the one today. Oh, it was running so fast. And Woden was amazing. Silver Star was awesome as Madame well, wasn't Bone it? Run. Oh, all the dark rides. Pirates and Batavia, of course, Charlotte's first proper ride on there today. That was really good. We saw the ice show. We've seen the parade. Honestly, we've done so much, and we've not rushed about at all, have we? No, we've kind of took it at our own pace. Yeah, we took it really easy. I mean, if you rush around this park, you get even more done. But that's the key to enjoying Europa Park. Don't be in a rush. Take it in, sit back, relax. We've stopped a couple of times, haven't we, just to relax and yeah, enjoy just it. just to have a sit down and take it all in. Yeah, like have a couple of nice meals, and we had the cake earlier on in the French area. It's just such a nice park to relax and take it all in and soak up the atmosphere. And it's always great how they allow us to use the chest mounted GoPro here as well. Um, you don't need to get any special permission. You can just rock up with your chest mount and use it on the ride, footage. which is really cool. They actually used to hire out GoPros here. I don't know if they do any more, but uh, they used to. You could hire a GoPro. Oh, That's of course really that. good. Love it, but uh, no, it's been absolutely fantastic. Thanks for joining us in our day one vlog. There's going to be a day two vlog coming from Europa Park and also a vlog from Rulantica, Charlotte's first visit. I can't wait to see what it's all about. It's nice up there. It's really cool. And also, we're going to be experiencing the new outdoor section, the expansion, and also checking out the new spa, the wellness area I as well. I can't wait to have a relax. Yeah, relax. It's open through until 10 o'clock, so some nighttime fun up there as well, yeah. which is great up in Rulantica. But uh, there we go, ending the vlog here from the wonderful train oh, oh, oh. on Eurosat. We'll see you tomorrow for the day two vlog here from Europa Park. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. Whoa. We'll see you tomorrow's vlog.